Now, as many of you know, Georgiana and I spend a lot of time at Missouri schools, touring classrooms, talking to students, meeting with teachers and staff. Sometimes I even sneak out and shoot a few hoops. Our schools are the hearts of our communities. They're where we gather for picnics and dances, ball games and bingo, where lifelong friendships are made and fundamental values are learned. And in today's global economy, whether you root for the DeSoto Dragons, or the Sykeston Bulldogs, or the Mound City Panthers, our K-12 schools must also be rigorous, high-tech institutions of innovation. More technology, smaller class sizes, well-prepared teachers, the tools our kids need to succeed. You know, accomplishing that goal is going to take an unwavering commitment by all of us. And you know something else? It's going to take money. That's why my budget increases funding for our K-12 classrooms this year by $278 million. And for those of you counting at home, that will put us on a path to fully funding the foundation formula next year. You know, every one of us has run for office. And when we knocked on doors and folks asked if we believed in public education, we all said yes. At every town hall meeting, when someone raised their hand and asked what we do for teachers, we said we'd support them. And on the campaign trail, I bet almost all of us made a promise to invest in our students and our schools. Well, you know what? It's time to put our budgets where our campaign brochures are. <laughs> It's time to decide whether we're going to merely going to talk about public education or whether we're going to fund it. This is the test, and this is the year to get serious about fully funding our schools. And we all know our local schools will put these dollars to work in a big way for our kids and communities. Here are just a few of the priorities that school districts have already outlined. In Kennett, Every student will have a computer. In Fort Zumwalt, 50 additional teachers will reduce class sizes and give kids the personal attention they need. In Santa Fe, and for those of you who haven't been north here, that's Santa Fe, Missouri, they're going to bring back summer school and establish the district's first early childhood education program. Up in Kirksville, they will implement Project Lead the Way, the hands-on curriculum that helps students understand and excel in science. And in Springfield, four thousand more three and four year olds will have the opportunity to attend high quality preschool. <laughs> Tonight we are honored to be joined by teachers, administrators, and school board members from across our state. I'd like you to stand if you would please. Please join me in thanking them for the honorable challenge they take on every day of educating our kids. Thank you. You know, and with this commitment to fully funding the formula, we're going to demand accountability and measurable results. Tougher classes, higher test scores, and higher graduation rates. Our students, students need to be ready to compete worldwide, and that means they have to raise their game. We're going to have to raise ours, too. 
We have got to believe in education so much that we commit to making it better.